Yo, what's up, YouTube? Um, I just kind of want to make this video. I know I don't have, like, a huge platform on YouTube or anything like that, but I just kind of want to get this out there. Um, it's about Dead by Daylight, obviously. Um, and the OP versus non-OP uh, discussion on, like, killers and stuff. Um, because uh, on TikTok, I do go through some Dead by Daylight content, and I do, in fact, see a lot of, a lot of people... From what I see, it's mostly survivors. I don't want to say that because I don't want to seem like I'm that guy, you know. But I do play a lot of killer, but I also play survivor as well. Um, but I have seen a lot of people calling certain killers overpowered. And I think people mix up <clears throat> overpowered with oppressive. Um, now, some of the killers that I saw mentioned were Nemesis... Uh, trickster specifically recently um, but the one that really caught me off guard was saying that nemesis was overpowered which I highly disagree with as a nemesis main right now um, of course people are going to think well you're a nemesis main of course you're going to say that he's not overpowered no no I'm saying that from experience um, he's not overpowered in the sense of the one week four and I think that's obvious to most people that <clears throat> are decent at the game uh because the whole W strategy is very good against him. The more distance you get against Nemesis, the better. Um, so when people call him OP, I kind of I kind of chuckle a little bit because a good survivor will think the opposite and um, just hold W against. Him. He's oppressive in the one v one, and the game's a one v four, obviously. So in reality, when Survivors get mad at killers for picking OP killer, OP killers, uh, or something like that. I really think they should be more upset with incompetent teammates, which MMR proved to uh, fix. Uh, when you're matched with survivors of your skill level, it shows that you're a lot more productive on your team, or it shows how unproductive you actually are on your team. <laughs> um, from when MMR was actually activated, I was getting, I, I think I'm not the only one too, um, but I was getting survivors that were very, very efficient on gens, um, which is cool to see because it actually gets me to step up my game, you know? But I don't think you can call a killer OP when it's your teammates that are causing the problems. Because in my opinion, Dead by Daylight is very heavily influenced by the survivor's mistakes. One mistake as the killer can cost you almost the whole game. Of eight mistakes as survivor, you're all right because you have other people to fall back on. And if those people on your team are actually competent, your mistakes will not matter as much as you think. Now, if the whole team is making mistakes, you cannot be mad at the killer. You're not justified at being mad at the killer for taking advantage of those and if you're not, you're, you're not really justified at all to be mad at the killer for taking advantage of those mistakes. Um, because they're punishing you. That's, that's what the killer needs to do. A killer needs to punish you if you're making a mistake. So those saves in front of your face um, and borrowed time blocks, which borrowed time, that's a whole different story. Borrowed time itself, um, I think people use... Kind of abuse, actually. Um, <clears throat> borrowed time is just that. It's borrowed time. It's used to prevent tunneling. Kind of. Yeah, I guess so. Um, and to get some time away from the killer, you know? A lot of people use it defensively. Or no, I should say offensively, but defensively for a teammate. So, I punish that. And if they have DS, I get DS, but I punish it. You should not be using borrow time to block a teammate because then I'm just going to go after you. <clears throat> and then the counter to that would be with productive teammates to do gens, right? Punish me for trying to punish them. Um, and it's a cycle, and that's how it should be. But then it turns around on the survivor. I mean, the survivors turn it around on the killer as if they're playing scummy, mean, or toxic which is just not the case. And then I think that's where 
um, it becomes the OP conversation because it's usually um, not the greatest loopers that call these killers that are oppressive in looping uh, OP, which is just not true. It's not true at all. Um, <clears throat> if you become efficient at looping, uh, some of these killers are are still great in the chase. The only one that yeah, could, that you could argue you can't really react too much is Death Slinger, because if it's a good Slinger, you're probably not going to react to that uh, Harpoon. But a lot of these other ones, like Nemesis, Pyramid Head, you can react to their long-range ability. <clears throat> and uh, I just don't see how they're o overpowered. Um, I do see how they're oppressive to people that aren't the greatest at looping. I, myself, am not the greatest at looping, but I understand that I'm not great at looping. And that's where I like, kind of move to the next section, um, egos. I think this game um, can really inflate egos, <clears throat> which, I, which is why I recommend a lot of people just do the solo, solo queue survivor for a little bit. I think that would humble a lot of people. Um, solo queue survivor is not easy. Um, there's no comms. There's no, no information besides what you have and what you bring in. And I think it kind of mixes up what perks you should bring. I personally bring borrowed time, safe unhooks if I need, if need be, if somebody's getting, being tunneled or whatnot. Um, I bring kindred just so I can see the situation of what's going on. I try to be as proactive as possible when I'm playing solo queue. Uh, and even um, I bring will make it in case the killer doesn't come back to the hook. We get fast heals, right? Uh, and I kind of substitute the last one, Iron Will, so I can be a little bit kind of quiet. Uh, or the new totem perk, so I can avoid no it. Jill's new totem perk. But that's see, that's the thing. There are all there are plenty of ways of going about um, kind of handling these killers that are like OP. Um but I think survivors are just so stuck in the in the meta that they're not willing to experiment with builds and stuff that could potentially like stop some of these killers. I don't know. Um what I'm getting at is I kind of went off topic. Uh Nemesis, Pyramid Head, uh Trickster. Trickster's add-ons were the only thing OP, and they just got nerfed. I mean, uh, they just got buffed. So, no, nerfed. They just got nerfed. So, I don't see a problem with him. Um, and then people will, be, will say, well, a good trickster... Exactly. Listen. Let that play through your head. A good trickster. A good trickster. A good de nemesis. A good death slinger. A good pyramid head. A good light. <laughs> um, a good Demogorgon. Any of these ones that seem oppressive, um, when you put good in front of it, like they, that's actively saying the player has to be good. Therefore, why are we calling it OP if you have to be good with that character, right? Um, it takes a good amount of skill to play that character. It takes, a, like, a good nemesis versus a good survivor. That survivor's probably going to loop him for a decent amount more than, four, like, probably 45 seconds to a minute if he's not breaking chase. But a good nemesis would break chase to try and find the weak link. Now, what happens in MMR? MMR, you have four solid links if you're playing at a good level. <clears throat> so... That stands to be corrected that these killers aren't OP. They're just oppressive to players that aren't the greatest at looping. So I think that comes full circle in that <laughs> the players that... This is, this is probably going to make some people bad, but the players that often call OP usually not the greatest at looping and playing the game. Aside from gens and hiding. Which is not a bad thing. It's just I don't think you can stream OP if that's your play style. Hide better. I don't know. Or get better at looping. It's a it's a well round as a survivor, I feel like you should be well rounded. That's why I myself am learning to loop better. Um 
just like killer as killer you need to be well-rounded you need to understand time management um when to break chase when it's good to uh slug when it is proper time to tunnel yes i know people are gonna hate that one um generally the game is more than just cat and mouse it's more than just i chase one person uh and knock them down it's not a 1v1 it's a 1v4 uh killer needs to focus on the four survivors need to understand each other and understand what's going on uh but that's just my take on it i don't really think there's any op killers the only one i would say that needs fixed is spirit and it's not even for the reasons that people think the only thing i think that spirit needs fixed is uh i think she needs a sound or a cue that shows she's going into phase that's it <clears throat> but i don't really think anything in the game is op uh keys keys are the only thing i want out of the game um but yeah that's my take on it and let me know if you guys agree if you see this if you don't that's fine just let me know i actually enjoy talking about it i enjoy hearing other people's thoughts on it um just don't be toxic just like let's communicate and not be toxic about it because we we're I, I we're all better than that and let's show the dvd community that we can be better than that but uh i will see you guys next time peace out